Resament Ready Mix Dual Cure Cement is an excellent looting agent uh, for especially seric type restorations or milled restorations. After achieving adequate isolation using in this case an isolate or potentially a rubber dam and then applying Teflon uh, plumber's tape to the adjacent teeth to minimize bonding inadvertently, we can prepare the teeth uh, using whichever etching technique uh, a clinician prefers. In this case, I like to use a total etch technique where uh, phosphoric acid percent in a 37 percent concentration is applied to the enamel margins for 20 seconds and dentin for 10 seconds. After thorough rinsing, the tooth is lightly dried. Uh, we prefer it to have a wet surface, a wet bonding, so we like to see water just kind of glistening off of the tooth but not pooled in any location. And then any bonding agent uh, that a clinician pre prefers can be used. Uh, in this particular case, I like to use OptiBond FL by Kerr. Um, I use the primer in three layers and then air dry. And then we apply a, an unfilled resin uh, bonding agent. Even if you would use a uh, self-cure adhesive, I still would recommend using a thin coating of unfilled resin to wet the surface. And then we thin that um, with air, but we do not cure it prior to bonding. This is kind of an off-label technique, however, it's been very successful in my practice and it allows a nice, thorough, and easy seating with any resin looting agent that's used. Um, it's exceptionally nice with a resiment ready, uh, ready mix. Here you can see me thinning the, rest, the unfilled resin. And this prevents pooling. And then the uh, Resiment Ready Mix Dual Cure Cement is loaded directly to the intaglio of the restoration. In some situations, such as inlays and onlays, the, the cement can be applied directly to the preparation. The restoration is gently seated to make sure that it's fully seated in place and the margins are all the way down. And then under light pressure, will tack cure. So I like to use something such as an amalgam condenser uh, just to apply very gentle pressure for tack curing. At this point in time resiment is very nicely removed, very easily removed in what I'd like to call a gel state and there's plenty of working time. I believe you have up to two minutes of working time uh, to work with this before the uh, auto cure portion completely activates. You can see how easily that excess uh, cement is removed. And we'll remove the Teflon and slip some floss down through according to standard techniques. In this case Teflon was not applied to the molar because there was an amalgam adjacent to the restoration so I was not worried about inadvertent bonding there. inspect just to be sure that that the restoration is fully seated again at before final curing and then final cure is completed for approximately 40 seconds again this restoration would fully set on its own with the auto auto cure uh, initiators uh, however I like to speed up the process with the 40 second light cure
you can begin to see how the margin the margins just disappear with the clear nature of the resume. And then we'll polish uh, the restoration. And actually, most of this polishing is being done to the restoration because this is a paradigm resin block. Uh, although it doesn't, the resume really does not require much polishing at all. And then we'll just finally refine the the margins if necessary. I like to use a an ultra fine uh, finishing diamond for this, um, only because I'm more comfortable with that. Many uh, clinicians would choose to use a fluted finishing burr or uh, sandpaper discs. Any of these techniques are well accepted. Now here is when I will start to remove the the cement flash from the occlusal. I wait until the res resin is fully cemented. That's just a personal uh, preference. I like to uh, control the occlusion at this point rather than removing excess uh, cement during the gel stage from the uh, occlusal surface. A very light touch is necessary to remove that res or that resin. Then we'll rinse and, and polish with some fine diamond paste. And here you can see how nicely the margins just disappear into that enamel. Uh, it's very hard to detect a cement junction uh, once that palatal cusps, re, cusp rehydrates, that will look very nice. There you can see the tooth adjacent to this. I'm just comparing the restoration margins. Uh, that restoration was seeded approximately two years ago uh, with resume.